Over 1 million kina in checks was handed over to five different organizations to assist in the delivery of vital services in the maritime district of Samurai Murua. 285,000 kina to the Adventist Care Foundation for Vanilla Cultivation and Processing Projects. 18,000 kina to the Sariba Seven-Day Adventist Church for a vanilla workshop. 342,975 kina to the Aero Medical Services for the purchase of medical drugs and testing kits, including COVID-19 awareness and vaccination rollout programs. 499,112 kina, 90 toya to Roslo Limited, a logistics company that will assist with the delivery of essential goods and equipment to the islands, and 101,200 kina to Losola Holdings Limited to conduct sporting programs for the islands. Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture and member for Samurai Murua, E.C. Henry Leonard, said the services that are being invested in are essential for the livelihood for the people in the district. Now, their service is very, very important. Given the fact that uh, COVID-19 is here to stay, and uh, our people who are out in the remote areas, especially in, in the district, have very little or no knowledge at all about COVID-19 and uh, the threat that it possesses. Dr. Eddie Eddie Money from Aero Medical Services will be leading a team of medical professionals to carry out COVID-19 awareness and also roll out a vaccination campaign for the district. In addition, his team will be administering regular medical checks and providing drugs to the centers that have been lacking. It's a social problem and it's a social issue as well. Uh, so we just play our part as health professionals to try and mitigate the challenges that we got down on the ground, especially uh, the Samurai Muru district, which is very remote in its own setting. Pastor Robert Nana from the Adventist Care Foundation said the focus of the foundation has been on agricultural projects, as this area has proven to be a major impact project in the lives of the island people. Other projects that received funding yesterday include Rose Law Limited, who will be assisting in logistics, and Losola Limited, who will be organizing sporting activities for the islands. Mary Silla Kelaton, TV1 News.